Benefit. We would like to take a few moments to recognize a few people that were instrumental in the events on May 29th. We would like to first honor TDCJ Bloodhound Raider who caught the person responsible. Take a bow, Raider. And the officers that are standing at the end of the stage. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. At this time, we would like for a representative to come forward for Liberty County SRT. We'd like to present this Citizens Award to the Liberty County SRT in recognition of excellence answering the call without a second thought on May 29, 2019. Cohen, Zach Cohen, 
uh, Stephanie Lynch, Jeremy Reed, Jack Weehawk, the owner of this property, allowed us to do this. <laughs> Wally Weehawk, owner, Jamie Clark, Alan Taylor, please come up. This is who the recognition needs to go to. Well, since I've already got him up here, Trinity Armory, can I have that flag, please? Taylor's Citizen Award presented to Trinity Armory in recognition of your efforts in this event and beyond heartfelt gratitude for all that you do daily. June 22nd, 2019. And they're also my fellow alumni members. Bless you all. turnout has been absolutely tremendous out here. We're estimating somewhere around 4,000 people that's come out for the music, for the food, and for the uh, donations for the uh, Witten family. It looks like it's going to be a tremendous success. How is the deputy doing right now? He's not doing as well as we would like for him to. He does have some medical issues that they're still addressing, uh, and uh, they're even doing that as we speak today the outpouring in the community. How's it been over the past month? We could not ask for anything more from the community than what they've done. They're, he's on the prayer list of about every church that we know. We're asking the public to continue their prayers and thoughts for the Witten family uh, as he goes through these very difficult coming months. Uh, the recovery period is going to be long and extensive, but the community has really fell in and helped in so many ways. It's, it's just unimaginable. Okay, Travis Pierce, P-I-E-R-C-E, -E, uh, investigator, Liberty County Sheriff's Office. Tell me about benefits and uh, the turnout and everything today, and a little bit about Deputy Witten. Everybody knows uh, Deputy uh, Richard Witten was shot in the line of duty. Uh, the, this is all for him, obviously. Uh, we had a lot of key players in place. We had a lot of good people that brought this stuff together really, really quick. And the outpouring of the community is actually the end result of what you see here. If it wasn't for the community, and everything that they helped us bring together, I don't. We, this wouldn't have been possible. And we're talking close to 4,000 out here. Ran out of 800 pounds of meat. Uh, they, I heard they ran out of silverware <laughs> or plasticware, should I say? Uh, it, it's amazing. I'm, I'm very humbled by uh, 
by what's transpired, I mean, it, it's amazing the amount of support that has came out here for, for, uh, for Deputy Witten. I mean, this happened the 29th of May. I mean, we're not even three weeks into it and the right. outpouring of rain. Yeah, it, it, it's amazing. I mean, obviously, uh, Rich is still in the hospital. So he's, he's, got, he's, got some, he's got some things that need to be taken care of. It's gonna be care, but the most important thing is his aftercare. And that's kind of why we're doing this now because once the aftercare starts, I mean, it's, it's a complete and total life, you know, life changing moment for him and his family. So they're gonna need things, they're gonna need support. And, you know, our arms are always gonna be open for him. Tell me a little about working with him. Oh, Rich, he, uh, when I was a patrol sergeant, he was on my shift. Uh, Deputy Raspberry, Deputy Martell, and myself uh, finished up his uh, FTO, and he came. He ended up working on my shift as a uh, as a deputy. Nice guy. I mean, beyond nice. I mean, I I've seen people yell and scream at him, and he's still yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. It it really takes a lot to get him to lose his bearing, and I've I've never really seen that happen. I mean, it's it's amazing the amount that that guy will put up with sometimes. But I mean, it's he calm demeanor. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. Does his job. And it's just, I mean, he, he's, he's really a good dude. The morning you heard about this. Ha, Deputy Raspberry and myself, we're going to be teaching a patrol rifle instructors course. I'm unloading my car at the range when Raspberry pulls up and he goes, hey, we got an active shooter in the county. I'm, I looked at him. I'm like, quit playing. It's too early for this. Don't play. And he looks at me kind of funny. I look up at him, and about that time, he goes, well, we got deputies behind him. And then he goes, we've got a deputy down, and he's full reverse out to, out to get, you know, heading out of the range. And I was like, okay, this is for real. So I jumped in the car, and we're heading that direction. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. I, I couldn't believe. I mean, I didn't know who it was. I know what shift is on duty. I didn't know who it was, and, and I'm just, and I was, I was wondering, was it, was it a constable? Is it, it, was it, was it one of our guys? Was it one of the ISD people? I mean, all they said was there was an officer down. So we didn't really know who it was because they're not going to broadcast that over the radio. So we're heading in route. They're giving us a description of the vehicle. So me and Steve, we're, we're coming down 1010 at Mach 2, trying to get in a, in a position to hopefully intercept this guy if he makes it up to us. And ended up getting down 321. Never run into him, so we figured he ditched off on a side road. So me and me and Raspberry are checking all the side roads. We've got other officers in route. You've got you've got units from from San Jacinto County uh, troopers. We've got troopers from from our area. I mean, it, within an hour, hour and a half most. I've never seen the amount of people that we had. We had Harris County. We had uh, uh, East Montgomery County, Montgomery County. We had uh, Splendora, Patton Village. We had some people from, obviously, we were guys that were off duty for us, for the sheriff's office, were checking on duty. Uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office, DPS Region 2, uh, East Montgomery County's uh, SWAT team, our, our guys, our SWAT team, and federal, federal uh, elements, marshals, FBI, uh, Company A Rangers. I mean, almost, I, I'm, I'm hearing that every one of them was here. I've seen several of them. So there was a tremendous amount of people here very, very quickly.